Hello and welcome to another video. This is Voorhees Retro 81 and uh, this is Force Reboot which is currently in early access. Um, it's very affordable on PC and I would recommend picking it up if you're in any way interested after watching this video. Um, I've been enjoying it quite a lot. Um, because I'm not going to be able to talk a great deal once this game gets rolling because of what I'm about to explain, I'm going to explain how the gameplay mechanics work before I start playing. As soon as I go through that door in front of me, my health is going to start dropping. Every single time I stop moving, I will start getting a, an even heavier health penal, uh, penalization, uh, and I can only restore my health by killing enemies. Um, and the idea is to basically survive as long as possible. Uh, every couple of rooms, you'll go up a floor and you'll get the opportunity to pick a buff, but you'll also have to take a debuff at the same time. So this is kind of like a rogue-like, rogue and it's got aspects, I suppose, of soul... Well, no, I don't know. It's, it's... yeah. It's an interesting game, anyway, and I've been quite enjoying it, um, but it is a bit... It, it can be very harsh, and it's kind of driven by its RNG, and because it's in early access at the moment, they're still kind of balancing the the health system a bit, so you'll see at some points I'll seem to just die outright for no reason and it'd be things like I've got caught on something on a wall while I'm strafing or whatnot. Uh anyhow, uh that's enough waffle. Let's get to uh getting getting killed. And straight away we've hit one of the concerns that I have about this game, which is of late something to do with the recent up date has caused it to start to lag on my computer intermittently when it's loading things in. I think that's to do with the fact that I have Steam kind of... yeah. See, I watched the numbers go down there and I lost um, 10 seconds out of nowhere of my health going down. Uh, let's start again. Um, anyway, it's early access, you know, glitches will happen. Um, and I will say that also, like, the developers very, very active. It's making lots of updates on this game and it's just basically been fantastic so far. He's been a lot better at, at keeping the game up and running than I am at playing it, put it that way. <laughs> um, but hopefully we're going to manage to get through to uh, the second floor at least while playing. How about you, sir? Uh, SMG will help me a lot because I'm awful, so spraying lots of bullets will be very helpful. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's got a very active development as an early access game so far and the developer also doesn't seem to be listening too much to like try hard speedrunner type people who are going like oh well I want it to be even harder than it already is because I've beaten it 11 times or whatever um, so that's been good a lot of the time these uh, roguelikes when they're in early access they can get kind of like overtaken by uh the hardcore of the player of the player area player scene so uh, let's take that i've had a few roguelikes that i really enjoy kind of get wrecked by the fact that you know they have a very hardcore speedrunner scene and i kind of get that you know um Obviously, people who speedrun, they uh, upload it to their Twitch channel or whatever, and it's all good. You know, I'm not dissing speedrunners. I, I think speedrunners are amazing. I can do what a lot of them do. Uh, but the idea of, like, you know, designing your game around a small hardcore who are not only interested in beating it once, they're interested in completing it in as many random and bizarre ways as possible building your game around that, I don't think it's a good a good concept, I think it kind of alienates the potential fan base, but it is what it is. Uh, 
I guess we'll have more choice if we didn't get any choice there. That's probably my fault for picking something stupid at some point. As you can probably tell, I'm not thinking too hard right now. But yeah, I've been really enjoying this game. Uh, I will say, I doubt I'm look at making it look easy, but very hard. It's got a very steep learning curve initially getting used to the speed that you have to play the game at. I mean, you'll notice that I'm basically just going, oh, sod it, I took damage when I hit, like, traps and stuff, and it's just because of the very nature of the game. Man, ain't going well here. Oh, what are we gonna go with? I'm gonna take more speed. Oh, come on, game. Where's the actual enemy? But yeah, I heavily recommend this. Uh, it's very affordable, and uh, as far as I'm aware, it's possibly PC only at the moment. I have no idea. Uh, I don't have a Switch or a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox One, whatever it's called these days. Special K. Um, oh god, I ate all of that. please thank you um, if oh god don't lag please yeah I'm beginning to think that so I have an SSD drive and uh, not SSD drive and a, and a plastic drive in this computer and my steam games are installed to the platter and my Steam installation is on the uh, SSD drive, and I think that might be what causes the weird lag that I intermittently get. Let's re-roll and see if we can get double guns. No, I can't get double guns. Okay, right, I'm going to call it there because I'm very close to inadvertently showing you the whole game. Uh, I had very good RNG on this run, which is uh, nice. Um, but uh, that's Force Reboot. Uh, I'm sure I rambled and ranted enough about what is good and is currently being worked on with the game like I say active developer good early access game um, very together and playable already um, and uh, completable and given the speed and intensity of it there is definitely enough content going in, going into it at the moment it's got seven sort of uh, procedurally generated levels at the moment for the main game there's like an arena mode, there's various different ways you can play the main game. So yeah, yeah, it's got, got a lot to it and uh, I'm really enjoying it. And uh, take care and peace out.